Hey guys, Joe here. Hold on a second. Five hundred. Five hundred miles. What was I thinking? So, for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, go up and watch this video right up here. At the beginning of the year, I decided that I was going to run 500 miles. I've never run that much in my life in a year. And I promised you guys some follow-up videos. So this is follow-up video number one. Uh, I learned from a very smart man one time that when you put something off and don't get it done, don't apologize for not getting it done. Just say, thank you for your patience. So, thank you for your patience. Uh, I know I promised a lot of uh, follow-up videos, and this is my first one, and it's halfway through August already. I actually have filmed this video twice already, but due to technical difficulties, I actually lost all my footage for both of those videos. I have made some progress and I'm still going strong, but I'm not quite there yet. So I just wanted to let you guys know uh, what I've been up to and some of the things that I've learned so far and some of the takeaways that I've gotten from this challenge. So the first thing that I've taken away from this is that you guys are awesome. So I got a lot of comments on my first video and a lot of encouragement. And there was even a woman from Seattle named Rochelle that signed up to do this with me. So Rochelle, if you're watching this, I hope you're still going strong. Uh, I hope you're actually already done with it, but if not, that's okay. Um, I'm not either, but uh, I hope you're, you're going strong and I know you can do it, so keep going. Uh, drop me a comment down below, let me know how you're doing. I also learned, well, I kinda, I already knew this, but uh, running on a treadmill sucks. Um, I've actually, I actually ran the first, uh, first 106 miles of this challenge on a treadmill and every mile was horrible. And I had to do everything I could uh, just to, to make myself forget that I was running on a treadmill because I really hate it. I also got the suggestion that I should join Strava. So here it is. Uh, I've also linked it down in the description. Feel free to follow me if you want. If not, I don't really care. Um, but if you want to follow me, that, that's the link. The two biggest takeaways that I've had from this challenge over the last seven and a half months is number one, it's super hard to stay motivated. I haven't even really been motivated to make this video. All I've done is, is run a lot and worry about running a lot, worry about not running enough, um, worry about how much uh, I need to run today to meet my goal and how many times a week I have to run and things like that. And it's just, um, at the beginning, I, I thought that I was gonna be done sometime in June and then I quickly uh, realized that that wasn't gonna happen. Uh, so. I've set some, some different goals. Right now, at halfway through August, I should be at 313 miles. Um, and I'm glad and proud to say that I'm actually at 336 miles. So I'm a little over where I need to be. Looks like, you know, if I keep on this pace, I'll definitely finish by the end of the year. I do want to try and get done before it gets cold again so I don't have to run on the treadmill again because like I said, I really, really hate running on a treadmill. It's so boring and I just hate it. So hopefully I can get done before it gets cold. Before I get to the last thing that I've learned, the last takeaway that I have from this challenge, I need you all to do me a favor. If you could go down in the comment section and just drop me a comment and say what, where you live, you know, just a city like you know, where you live. You don't have to give me your address. That would be weird. Um, but just say where you're, where you're watching from. Um, 
and if you and if you like this video hit hit the like button if you if you want to see more and you haven't subscribed already because i know that about 98 percent of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed if you feel that you've been watching my videos and, and, you, and you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But the last thing that I've learned throughout this journey is that you have to warm up before you run. If you're interested in a warm-up routine, if you wanna, if you wanna learn more about a warm-up routine, watch this video right here, and I'll see you next time.